dear friends welcome to learning about in this video i have come up with a great news so after a long gap tcs they have announced two massive off campus hiring one of which i am going to share in this particular uh, video now in this video i'll be sharing the important dates uh, the eligibility criteria the test pattern and also like how to register okay right now so this is tcs smart hiring it the registration has already started the last date to register is 14th of december 2023 and the test date they have not declared but we can expect it uh, after a month okay that is uh, in the third week of december one month from the date of last day to register you can expect so from the third week the third week of jan you can expect the uh, exam okay now who are eligible to apply 2023 and 2024 graduates are eligible to apply who have completed degrees like bca bsc and bvoc and in bsc the eligible branches are it computer science mathematics statistics physics chemistry electronics and biochemistry and in bvoc csc it eligible and as i said 2023 and 2024 batches and as far as uh, the percentage criteria is concerned the graduate should have a minimum of 50 percentage at all at every academic milestone that is 50 I mean, sorry, tenth, uh, twelfth, and graduation. You should have a minimum of fifty percentage. And uh, as far as current arrears are concerned, the backlogs, twenty twenty three batch should not have any. Uh, those graduates should not have any current arrears. And twenty twenty four batch can have a maximum of one current arrear. Okay. And gap in education, maximum of two years is permitted. And the highest qualification, the graduate, the graduation level should be completed in the stipulated time. Okay, that is, if it is, for example, BSc three years means you should it should be completed in three years. Okay, so extended education is not permitted. And as far as course type is concerned, only full time graduates are allowed. Full time courses are allowed. Part time and correspondence is not allowed. And uh, the only exception is uh, National Institute of Open. schooling okay if you completed high secondary or higher secondary uh, in uh, nios then those graduates are eligible now the maximum age limit is 28 years and this work does not require any experience this is purely for freshers but if you have if at all if you have any experience you have to mention that in the uh, application form okay and regarding test pattern is concerned so we have numerical ability verbal ability and reasoning ability in our channel learning about we have preparatory videos uh, in english as well as tamil Uh, for uh, numerical and reasoning for verbal uh, as well as the other sections we have a practice platform you can make use of it right and we also have a strategy video for that uh, please make use of it uh, for your uh, preparation okay now this is regarding the uh, test pattern right now as far as uh, like how to uh, register now you have to register if you are interested you have to register as early as possible because only if you register early you will get the center of your choice for example if you want to opt for chennai uh, now you have to register early because sometimes it so happens that okay the, the particular center that you are willing to opt for may not be available because already many candidates have chosen that uh, center okay the, so there is no vacancy in that particular center that, that can happen okay and please remember this is an in center test so you have to go to a tcs ion center and write the exam and as far as tcs is concerned not just tier 1 cities even tier 2 and tier 3 cities are also they are also uh, available okay so you can check that now as far as how to register okay so i'll uh, i'll share that detail now the link to apply i have provided in the description below please click on that link now if you are new to new uh, to this registration this is a hiring that is happening under it category okay so you have to register under it that's very important You have to register under IT. Do the basic registration. Once you do the basic registration, that is the next step portal registration. You will get an email uh, to your registered email ID. Then you have to verify that email. And please remember, Aadhaar is very important, very uh, essential. Okay, without Aadhaar, you cannot do the registration. So you, sh you should have a unique email ID, mobile number, and Aadhaar is also important. Okay. So once you complete the next step uh, portal registration, you will get a verification, as I said, and then you have to complete the verification. then you have to fill up the application form okay uh, wherein uh, they ask for your personal details your academic details your uh, languages known achievement etc right and then uh, you have to upload your resume okay so maybe in the document uh, uh, okay in the prescribed format you have to upload your latest resume and also upload your uh, latest photograph okay and so you have to choose in center okay 
so incentive is only av available and also you have to choose you know like uh, you have to uh, very importantly you have to click on apply once you have completed the ap uh, application if you are eligible it will show this apply for drive it is usually uh, it is shown on the left side top okay you, you should click on this apply for drive and uh, to confirm that you have done your application process okay now your status should reflect as applied for drive okay the status should reflect as applied for drive only then you have completed the application and uh, uh, it it has reached okay so it has uh, only then it means that it has reached tcs okay so please be very careful with this now if you have any queries please do post your questions in the comment section below i hope uh, this video was useful to you thanks for watching the video have a great day